you want? What do you want? It can't be. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Guys, welcome back to another random games video where I peruse the internet in hopes to try to find something that'll give us laughs, spooks, or just any emotion, am I right? So today we got, uh, we only got one game, and it looks pretty good. It's called The Hospital. So if you guys are as ready as I am, which I know you are, then what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Where are my earbuds? There they are. So here we are, and we're right in it, my boys. We're in a hospital bed. We're not feeling too good. When the virus got me, I was hoping we'd be amongst the majority who'd only get mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse. Day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or even hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I feel you, brother. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can, I can barely breathe. Damn. That beeping is a little annoying, though. But I guess that means he's alive, so it's fine. Nobody cares! When have they got COVID-20? Oh, so now we're just standing up. Everything's good. Are we recovered? I'm up? Oh, he even he's even questioning it. Okay. Shit. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Walk around using the WASD keys. Look with your mouse, observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. And that is very nice. Thank you, devs. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurse took me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping, the hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you really don't know. My bed. Looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of that. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if the room was recently vacated. Did we die? I'm gonna call it right now that we died. Yeah, probably. Definitely. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. We might have died. Chairs for visitors. Except, being in quarantine, I don't get visitors. Bathroom doors appears to be locked. Which, I gotta say, is kinda weird. Can I get the key for the bathroom? Like, what is this, a gas station? Okay. It was just a girl, though. That person out there. Maybe a doctor? I, I need to find out what's going on. Some chick. Could have been a doctor, I guess. Could have been a serial killer, too, though. I mean, it's pretty broad. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity. All day, all night, filled with nurses, doctors, patients, you name it. One guy came in with a whole fucking... A whole flock of, uh... A whole flock of parrots. This shit got crazy. How is that just all gone now? What, 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 what? Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. They just picked them all off, bro. No worries. What about this door? 
This guy's got uh, stuff to say about everything, though. I gotta respect that. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there was signs beside these doors. Cardiology, obstetrics, radiology, etc. Like, they all said something. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see anything through them. Wow. We're in purgatory or something, man. That's what it's starting to feel like, though. You guys, you guys gotta be with me here. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, and welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. But now nothing, huh? Curiouser and curiouser. And not, nothing to say about that one? Hmm, okay. Well, then we'll just try this one. Sealed. It's like the others. Sealed, huh? Baby, I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the grave. What's wrong with you? Now that you're... I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head for the whole video, which is fine. I mean, there's worse songs. For sure. For sure, he's tricky. That's tricky, 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 tricky. No luck. It's lock. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. So it looks like I can't leave this way. <laughs> or any other way, for that matter. Can't find a damn door. Should probably find another way out, yeah. I'm about to find a window. Who are you? What are you about? Did you open a door for me? She opened a door for me. Probably for her benefit, though. Not mine. Interesting. Let's traverse. Want to say anything about these chairs? Nah, he's quiet. He's, like, silent now. After, after that, he's done. He's, like... It's just locked, man. You can see that? Not gonna tell you that. Guess she opened this other door for us, too. What a nice lady. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on in this place. Because I can't tell dick from balls right now, friends. Do a drive-by of this door here, just... Oh. What? Someone on the other side of the door? Let's see. Oh no, it was just a bunch of chairs moving themselves. We're good. Is that blood? This room looks just like the one I was in. Yeah, except... Yeah. <laughs> but it's a mess. That's what I was going to say. How awful. There's some kind of stain. Hopefully it's just shit, to be honest with you. <laughs> I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. The fuck? That figure. I've seen that before. The sound came from out there. Or maybe in that vent. Who knows? I got a vent about a few things, you dig? Shit. Getting a little unsettled. That figure I saw on the TV, it reminded me of... Nah, it can't be. Just imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having when my body lies in some kind of coma. Well, that's hopeful, because I was thinking dead. Just straight up dead. But I guess yours, yours is better. Yours is better. Let's hope for yours. Let's use take two on that. Getting the goosebumps. I don't like it, man. Like zoinks! I don't like it, Scoob! That noise almost got me. Those other noises missed me, but... That jump scare almost got me. Locked. Alright. 
wish I had a door that wasn't locked. Like, do you all, you, do you buy them that way? Do you buy them locked? Like, I need them unlocked. Please and thank you. At least to the exit. That's all I need. I mean, at this point, I would accept an unlocked window, though. You know what? Fuck it. We're jumping out a window whether it's open or not. We can smash glass. I'm, I'm out. Well, there was somebody in there, so we know there's somebody else, but... Well, we know that girl's in here, but who the hell was that? You know, I, I still think we're not really in the hospital anymore, but I'm sure you guys are thinking that, too. It's really dark. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led somewhere? The figure I saw. What's with that figure? There's something up with that figure. There she is. That's somebody that he knows, or knew. It can't be her. Yeah, he knows her. This is a dream, a nightmare. Rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? I don't think it's her, dude. She's like walking away from you, not even acknowledging your existence. If she's somebody you knew, I'm sure she'd at least look your way. And she wouldn't make every light flicker. You know what I mean? And, and like, she's one probably locking all the doors. You know, she's just unlocking the ones she wants you to go into. Okay. What the fuck was that noise? Oh, man. Alright, it's okay. We got this. Why is this one affecting me so much? I haven't really been jumpy that day. Oh. Now we're just in, like, somebody's basement. Look at the ceiling. It's all fucked. What? How? How did I get here? I do recognize this place. The furniture, the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table here. Well, now I can't see what's on the table. Oh, shit. What do you want? What do you want? It can't be. Leave me alone. Oh, my God. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. It can't be her. Well, I mean, you can't even see her face, dude. It's just a shadow of somebody. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anywhere. I recognize the hair, the stink coming from her ass. I recognize all of it. And oh boy, is that quite the stank. How is this possible? That it smells so bad. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. How is this possible? She's been dead for years. This isn't real, I'm dreaming. Nia, is that you? Should I just ask if it's her? Yeah. Nia, is that you? That familiar silence. What, did she never respond to you? Like, is that something that your relationship had was no communication? That's good stuff. The shit show. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago, now they're all coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since then. Could I have saved her life and done things differently? And, and at what cost? What cost? I couldn't have saved you. I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry for what happened. Only cold silence. Very chilly. What does she want? She want to make me feel bad? Well, just seeing that face made me feel bad. Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by the past when my body lies wasting on a hospital bed? I don't know, man. This is all pretty fishy. Something's definitely wrong with you. It's Nia. I remember this picture. We'd taken it out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24. But by then, she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, and self-harm. I tried to get her help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a, tri in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, 
I got the fuck out of there. Okay. Change that. This whole place is decrepit. What is this place? It's a decrepit hospital, my friend. Like, what? I can't really explain what's happening, but I'm excited to find out exactly what's happening here, though. I wonder if it's going to be a twist. An M. Night Shyamalan or something, you know what I mean? One of them joints. Those always have them little twisties. Twisting your deal. <laughs> Alright. What do we got? Alright, there's a body there. Are you serious? What is going on here, guys? I have no idea. There's a body right there. All over my body. You know what I mean? Like, baddie. Moving on. Locked door. Ah, oh, man. Alright, okay, let's click on the corpse. Who would abandon a dead body here? Well, where would you abandon a dead body? You know, where would you put it? Seems like a pretty good spot. What would you do with it? I'm just kidding. I know, like, I know. The stench here is terrible. I should move on. It's because we're following that chick. And I already mentioned about the ass stank. I'd know that ass stank anywhere. Even in an old hospital that already smells bad, I smell that stank over it because that shit is pungent. It's dank, really. It's dank. Dankity dank 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 dank. Doesn't budge. Just like my will to live. Just kidding, he didn't say that. I guess we're going back by the corpse. <clears throat> I was just clearing my throat. She is doing this, and I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. I mean, obviously, like, she's doing this, but we can't be in the, you know, the real world anymore, though. That has to be something that we're considering here. And, and how are we just fine? I mean, he's got to be thinking this. I mean, I understand terror takes over a lot of emotions, but my God, bro, shit, come on. And he walks slow, so give me 12 minutes and we'll be there. I'm right around the corner. One hour later. One hour later. All right. Show me something. Show me something. Don't show me that. Don't show me that. How many of these bodies moving? Tickle his feet. And then he jumps up and bites my fucking head off in one fell swoop. They could come out of the ceiling. I mean, look at these holes. These are just like drop-in panels. What the fuck is happening? And she thinks it's funny? She thinks it's funny moving these things around? Just because they're on wheels doesn't mean they need to move, Linda. Keep them where they are, please. My insanity is already through the roof, as you can tell. I'm not even in the world anymore, dude. That's how you know I'm insane. Shit. My goodness. Gwarsh! Alright. Well, we're just gonna keep grinding through. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. There she is. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. Thanks for finishing the story, but I figured that's probably what it was. As I watched, she raised it. And held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital of sorts. And a week later, I got that terrible call. Now oh, she was dead. Now she's in your uh, nightmares. Never ending. Well, she went in this door. Oh, come on. I probably can't show that. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me that you wrote on the note your last words. 
What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Nia? What do you want from me? I think of that note you left. The last words you ever wrote. You stay back. You wrote, I'm never gonna let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? So this is my fault? No worries on that. No worries on that. All right. So now what? We're back in the hospital bed? I'm I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. Am I well or am I still trapped in this nightmare? Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Probably second one. Probably, probably that one, yeah. Am I in a coma? Trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream? Born of guilt? Or am I dead? And this is my afterlife. These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity? Yeah, those seem like the two possible answers, my friend, so... Oh, that's it! I mean, that was good, though. But alright, guys, that was the hospital. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking it out. I love each and every one of you. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, comment, hit me up, talk to me, tell me what's up. Love talking to you guys. But, uh, that's gonna be it for me. So on that note, I love you guys, as always, peace out.